Kelvin Davis. What's good, Kelvin? What's up? What's up? All right, um, down in Atlanta for the fights. Uh, how you feeling? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, I was actually in camp with Shakur for this, and I feel like he's looking very sharp and very strong for this fight, and it's going to be an action-packed fight. Do they bring you in? Do a lot of people bring you in for southpaw work? Uh, actually, this is my first time, like, somebody bringing me in. Well, we're a champ bringing me in for sparring. But, yeah, he brought me in because he's fighting southpaw, and Jamel kind of taller than him, so it was, it was good work. How, how was training camp as a whole? Say that again? I said, how was training camp as a whole? Oh, as a whole, it was great. Uh, we was actually in Vegas. Vegas had the, they got the altitude out there. They got the mountains and stuff, and they got a lot of sparring. It's just a boxing state, really. So, I mean, all around Vegas is a good uh, place for a training camp. Hey, bro. How do you make 140? I have no, yo, you the biggest 140 I've ever seen. I don't know, man. My, that's just what my body at. Like, I don't get too heavy. I don't get past like 160. I walk around like 155 at the most. Famous. So I mean, if I, walk, if I could walk around that, when, like, if I could walk around that, when it's time to actually cut weight, I, I, I can make 140. Uh, how, how long do you expect to be at 140? Because I mean, you're a fairly young guy. Uh, I got like. Three years. I can do three years at 142, three years at 140, and then I go to 47. Where do you see yourself topping off at? Because you're about 6'1", 6'2"? I could probably top off like 54, 60, maybe 60. But yeah, probably like 54. Now, you were in... Nah, probably, probably 60. Probably 60? Probably 60. Yeah. But I got the size, I got the size for it. Like, I, I see these 54s and these 160 pounders. I match up with them size. And a lot of people... Think I fight that? Bro, way, you look actually, like a middleweight. That's what I thought yeah, you were. Yeah. A lot of people think I fight that way, but I mean, I'm uh, light <laughs> Okay. All right. Um, like I said, Spar Shakur. What's his best quality as a fighter? And uh, what did best, you have trouble with? I feel like his best quality as a fighter, uh, his IQ, and he know how to use his distance real good. So it's like sparring him is like a real chess match. And any mistake you do, he gonna make you pay for it. So it's like he really elevates your game. All right. So. Um, just turned pro, sparring world champions. What's the biggest difference between the professional and the amateurs? Uh, I feel like the biggest difference is like amateur, you can just throw and they're probably scoring. Professional, you gotta actually land punches, like punch somebody in the face. And I feel like uh, that's better to me because like you can probably get away with a win at amateur and you really didn't hit the guy. But pro, you gotta actually hit me to win. And I don't feel like I really get hit. But uh, I still gotta improve on my defense and stuff like that. So so no so nobody hit me and I just leave out of all my fights just looking clean. Uh, you said Shakur masters distance well. Yeah. What are some of the things you picked up being in camp with them? Uh, things I picked up. Uh, really, he'll take away my my distance because you know I got the long reach. So really, I try to improve on my inside game so I could be dominant on the outside as well on it as I am in the inside too. So I mean. Smart Shakur, like like I said, he make you capitalize. Like he make you pick up on all your mistakes, and like I feel like one of my inside game was one of my weaknesses, and he definitely brought it brought it up a notch. It made me put in my head that I need to work on it and stuff like that. Who wins, Jamel Herring, Shakur Stevenson? I got Shakur Stevenson. <laughs> What's the outcome? Decision, stoppage, what? Uh, I say decision, but maybe late stoppage. Okay. When are you slated to be back in the ring? Uh. I'm definitely going to be back in the ring before this year is over, maybe November or December, I'm not sure yet, but definitely look forward for me to fight at the end of the year. How many, the end of the year. how many times can we expect you in 2022? Uh, like five to six times in 2022. We're getting real active next year, and I'm really looking to make a big statement. Me and my brother, me and my brother, we're looking to make a big statement uh, next year, 2022. Thanks, Kelvin. I appreciate you. All right.